Uh, and then in the afternoon, George Rith conducted a mathematics lesson in French. George Wythe was a prominent citizen of Williamsburg and a signator of the Declaration of Independence. And you learn a lot about the history of the town by touring his house and talking to some of the guides. I'm Steve. I'm Nancy. And together, we are living our dream. Our goal, to travel the U.S. and Canada. While spreading the messages taught to us by our pets of Keep smiling, be kind, and be happy. Join us on our travels by subscribing to our channel as we continue our great adventure. Yeah. So this one dates back to when? 1755. Yeah, and it's it's the best preserved original structure that we have. <laughs> Somewhere around 80% original materials wow. are still present. Yeah, a lot of it is the brick. Um, brick is the external wall, but also the, er the internal structure. Um, a lot of the wood that you'll see inside is original, the, the, the doors, um, the floors, the staircase, all except for the treads, um, some of the woodwork around the windows, including the, the interior shutters that you'll see, um, even some original window glass. So, oh, yeah. I so now, yeah. uh, the bricks, were they imported? No, they, oh, were, no, no. they were made locally here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, Jefferson had a big, huge place he was making bricks oh, okay. for yeah. his for his home for his own use yeah for yeah. his own yeah. use yeah yeah and that's that's typically what's done because of the weight you know you yeah. don't you don't want to transport bricks over a long distance so, so there's a there's a great connection between jefferson and with um because with is uh, jefferson's law teacher and yeah yeah oh, so he taught at william and mary well um he does but actually at first he's teaching right out of the house um, because, you know, at, at, at that time, there are no law schools here in the colonies. Yeah, yeah. So if a young man wants to become a lawyer, the best thing to do um, is to study or read law privately with a lawyer who's already in practice. Yeah. So That's Jefferson true. does that here with Mr. Witt. And actually, they remain friends for the rest of their lives. Right down into... That's not a That's nail. Split. That's a peg. Um, they're nails. Or are there nails under they're the, square, oh, they're square, square nails, nails covered by yeah, pegs, small pegs. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That is how you so, attach it. Yeah, sure. I mean, they just... So how many people actually lived in this house? Well... What was his family? Uh, well, George with, uh and his wife lived here, but uh, they had about 14 or 15 enslaved persons on the property, too. Uh Wow. Most of them would be living where they worked outside, yeah. in the kitchen and laundry there. Wallpaper was all the rage then. Well, we found traces of wallpaper or evidence that, that well, there was wallpaper in many of the houses here, many of the original houses. Wow. Uh, we hadn't, did, hadn't found any for this house, but we're guessing it was probably good. mattress stuffings. Okay, which one is horse hair? There's got to be a horse hair. Yeah, that's the one with the H on it. Yeah, the, the tallest one is horse hair. It's a screen. His grandmother, who slept on them. Uh, horse. Yep. Horse hair. We owned one for a while. Ah. <laughs> got rid of it. Sure. Yeah, the but, risk uh, with, with all these 
mattresses that have natural materials is oh, so no, no, no. Yep. 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 So this is uh, straw. straw. Yeah. So most Virginians enslaved were free sleeping on straw or wool. Uh, horse hair and feathers in particular, those are the price levels. Oh, okay. Even upstairs, they have a 12 foot ceiling. It's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Now we are outside of the With House. Uh, he was a, a lawyer. He was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, right here beside him is the Bruton Parish. They live right next door to the church. Beautiful yard. Gardens. I know that these are vegetable gardens over here, I believe. He has several buildings in his property. Costmar, not familiar with that. With some lemon balm. Clary sage. Salad. Salad burn? don't know what that is. This I do know. Chives. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is the most gigantic birdhouse. Wow. That side is closed up. So it's not actually a functioning, I don't think. Oh, it has screens in it. Yeah, it has screens. So how do the birds get in there? This is the question. Ah, oh. there. Look at this. You could actually clean it out. It's pretty neat. I don't think um, it's actually functioning at the time. But this is, uh, I believe, a purple purple Martin house is what this this uh, represents. So you had all these buildings as well. Who knows? How oh, that's interesting. If you look up here, they, you've got more places for the birds. One of the things. Uh, during the Christmas time here is the wreaths, which have been magnificent. I have absolutely loved looking at all the wreaths and looking at the creativity and the materials. Look at this one. They use the back of a, a cut off barrel. Oh, you found the chickens? Every, every house should have chickens. Hey there, Don't peck my camera, please. I think we need this. And these are the quarters for the cook because it's attached to the kitchen. It's important to understand while walking through George Wythe's house, this is how the well-to-do live. Looking at the servants' quarters, things were much more sparse. I got the lawnmowers working.
they got tired of us not paying out, so they gave us a tax. What tax did they give us? Anybody know? Stamp Act. The Stamp Act, yeah. And that was one they developed just specifically for us because they hate us, right? No, this is one that they've been paying for almost 100 years in England. So, and they use a great battle cry. What's the battle cry they get to rally the poor around them? No taxation without representation. There you go. How many of you actually believe that to be truthful? Do you think that's a true statement? Huh? No taxation without representation? What do you think? Probably. True statement, isn't it? All right. So let me uh, show you a book. I just want to show you this book real quick. And you tell me if you've ever heard of this guy. You ever hear of this guy? Yeah. Dr. Ben Franklin? Yeah. Yeah, this is the examination of Dr. Franklin before the August Assembly, meaning both houses of Parliament, relating to the repeal of the Stamp Act, you know, the one we don't have a voice in. Why are they asking questions then? Just asking. This is why we need to make sure we listen to both sides of every story. Two opinions, two different viewpoints, two different understandings. And that's the thing, right? Where would a printer in the era get its papers? Primarily Locally made uh, or? here in this colony, England. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Northern uh, territories were making paper, the salt can. And the reason it's not made of wood, it's made of old rag. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. So we don't have industrial complexes in the salt. We don't have um, dense populations. We don't have um, uh, big cities in the salt. Yep. You need all of these things to produce the rag that's necessary for people um, make okay. So we're going to import that. Who were the primary customers of the printers? How, how, it depends. How... Where are we talking? Here in Virginia, or are we talking somewhere other? In the well, I would, I would think so... we're from Boston, so Boston okay. and Virginia. Boston. Is it a different audience? Yeah, sure. Well, and the reason being why? Because Massachusetts started public education in the years um, 1647, uh, 27 okay. years yep. after Plymouth Colony has started, public education comes to America wow. in Massachusetts. Virginia doesn't see public education for almost 200, 250 years later. Wow. The country as a whole doesn't get public education until the turn of the 1900s, yeah. right? And that's the thing. So when we look at this, we have to look at the populations that we have. Massachusetts is not necessarily an uh, agricultural colony, right. but it's an industrial yeah. colony, shipbuilding, wheeling, you know, mm. seafarers for the most part. So you get out west. Um, but that's the wilds of Massachusetts. Get beyond Worcester and forget it. You know, there's still Indian territory out there. So, so what were they were they were printing books then you would So the thing is up in Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, they actually had book publishers. Okay. And because of that, we had a lot more books. But yeah. because you were in an industrial area, a lot more people were able to buy the products that I produce. So cool. a lot more printers. And down here in the South, for thirty five years we were the only printing office. Wow. When we got our printing office started. 91 years after Massachusetts starts public printing. Wow. Right? Right down here, you have four photos taken of yourself. You see this lady right here in the jacket? She has been waiting for this moment. She knew y'all would come. And we're on our way now down to some of the Main Street area, go through some more houses. And again, the weather is beautiful. We dressed a little bit better for it today than we were yesterday. Um, at least I was. We happened upon Thomas Jefferson talking to a crowd and got to chat with him later about some of his most important work in the Virginia legislature. Publicly funded education. The state of Virginia is going to pay for everyone's education. And this bill applies to the mail and even gas the Wow. Female. Do you like it? Yeah. I like it too. You're, so I mentioned down there sapientiae. Sapientiae is Latin for reason. You're homo sapien, right? We're the only creatures on this globe who utilize reason. Sapient reason. It's an, it's, it should be, we should hope to create a government that applies for natural law. Uh, that is, if this is a natural right to you, use your mind. You have the, you, 
have the same mind as those uh, as those men, right? Mm -hmm. You should have the ability to uh, the right, rather, to to educate yourself in the same manner as they do. They shouldn't be behind a paywall. In our next video of the Colonial Williamsburg series, we visit a few shops, a dressmaker, a leather maker, and the Capitol. As always, keep smiling and be kind to those you meet.